Alright guys, when fishing on the PC, you can actually use your WASD keys to uh, help with the catching of the fish. So first you're going to set your reel out. The longer you hold your left click, the farther out it will go. It doesn't really have to go out that far, they'll draw it away anyway, so just might as well do a single click, let it go just barely in front of us. You can turn, look away, whatever you want to do. It'll actually refocus you on the bobber whenever a fish is here. I'm going to look this way just as an example. Those waves are beautiful. Alright, it looks like we have an indigo splash tail. I think it's a trophy. Which means it's going to be a longer fight. Grab on. Go ahead and hold down the S key. That key needs to stay down no matter what. And whenever he goes to the right, we hold left as well as the S key. If he goes to the left, we hold right as long as, as well as the S key. So just to be more clear, uh, you're going to hold A and S when they go right, and you're going to hold D and S when they go left. Whenever the line goes slack like it just did, you're going to go ahead and hold down the left click on the mouse to draw them in. With trophies, I would suggest only reeling them in during those times, but if you have a regular fish, during the struggle you can do uh, small clicks of the left mouse button to slowly reel them in. With trophy fish, however, I'm not sure if you can hear my line right now, but it's stressing. Uh, so I wouldn't advise doing it with trophy as you might snap your line. And there we go. We've caught our trophy indigo splash tail. Hold F to pick it up. Make sure not to hit left click on the mouse as you will bite the head off this fish, rendering it impossible to sell at the sea post here. Which is where you will go to sell your fish after you've got done cooking it. It will appear as a tiny island, which you can't see because my boat is currently covering up. Another example of one of these islands would be Three Paces East Sea Post, as it is this tiny little island here. So after you've caught your fish, your wonderful fish, hold F to put it on the stove. As it is a trophy fish, it will take longer to cook. And there are four different parts of the cooking process. You have raw, undercooked, cooked, and burnt. Obviously, your aim is to get it cooked, as that's worth the most money. As you can see, we're starting to change into our undercooked stage. From here, it will more rapidly turn into the cook stage. As you can see, it's starting to get that golden brown tint. It is now cooked. And as you can see, it stopped changing color. We're going to go and pick it up. If you go any further than that, it will turn a dark black, it'll be burnt, and your stove can actually catch fire. From here, you're going to go to your sea post, right there. The person on the deck here will be the hunter's call. As you can see, there's no option to sell the fish currently up there. You have to be holding the fish to sell it. Now we have the option to deliver our trophy and to go splash tail. We got 850 for that, as well as commendations for selling a bunch of trophy fish. 
you will get commendations for different types of fish that you turn in and they will unlock further fishing poles. Okay, so if you decide to stay at the sea post to continue fishing and selling fish to increase your hunter's call rating, as well as making a good amount of gold, uh, here are all the splash tails that you will catch, as that is mostly what you'll be catching without bait at an island. Uh, so your most common base variant was, will be the ruby splash tail. It's worth 75 gold whenever you sell it to them raw, as I'm assuming you're not going to jump back and forth between your ship. If you do decide to cook these, they will be worth about 50% more, sometimes a little less than that. Uh, the next one up is going to be your Sunny Splash Tail, worth 150. Third is the Indigo Splash Tail, it's the uncommon variant for 255. If you see a trophy version of this, definitely pick it up. Then you have your uh, Seafoam Splash Tail. It will show up at night. It is worth 150, so the same as the Sunny, but it's at night. And your rare variant will be the Umber Splash Tail, and that is worth 375 when raw. You definitely won't get too many of these. Uh, I actually had to fish around for a year for a bit just so I can get one for a, a sample. Uh, but yeah, most of yours will be Ruby Splash Tails. Definitely pick them up. However, I would suggest just ignoring the trophy versions of these, as the fight you're going to have with them is going to slow down your your uh, your income rate and they're only worth 190 as a raw trophy. So all the other trophies, go ahead and pick those up, but I would ignore the Ruby Splash Tail trophy. All right, and that's all you really need to know about fishing at the sea post to make a little extra money and get your hunter's call up. All right, guys, don't forget to comment below, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Help me out with the algorithm in YouTube. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Happy plundering.